So today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite things at the library, which is process art. And process art is any sort of project that focuses on the act of making rather than the end product. So if it comes out looking good, awesome. If it comes out looking horrible, you know what, even better. Process art is great for young children because it allows them to exercise their creative skills through decision making without worrying about whether what they're doing is correct or not. So when I'm brainstorming ideas for projects for kids to do at the library, I always start with washable paint and then I pick any sort of tool that isn't a paintbrush. So in the past, I've used Legos for process art projects as stamps. You can figure out a way to make any sort of kitchen utensil into a paintbrush. And as I'm doing those projects, I'm asking kids questions about why they're making the choices that they're making and how that is turning out on paper as they're doing their art project. So today, all you need is some washable paint, some sturdy paper, and a salad spinner, and we're gonna make something really cool. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is cut a piece of paper in the shape of a circle that fits in your salad spinner basket. And the next thing you're gonna do is take bottles of paint and just put as much or as little as you want on top of the piece of paper. And we're just gonna stick the top on and then this is the fun part. We're just gonna spin as fast as we can. I like to go in one direction first and then go in the other direction. All right, and now we get to see what it looks like. And this one came out awesome. I'll show you. Sometimes they're a brown mess. Like I said, that's okay too. So thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope that you do this project at home and I would love it if you could take pictures of your process, even your end product, no matter what it looks like, and post it in the comments of this video because all of us at the library miss you a whole lot and we'd love to see what you're up to.